if Hamza Yusuf wins this contest, the party will be able to bring itself back together pretty easily. I don't think that'll be a massive problem. Maybe there's more of a question mark about whether the party brings itself back together more easily if Kate Forbes wins the contest. And the reason I say that is that, you know, you could be on that stage last night and look at these people, certainly those two, Hamza Yusuf and Kate Forbes, and possibly all three, and say, are they in the same political party? Because they don't sound like they're in the same political party. Now, in a lot of leadership contests, you know, if, if you go back to the days of David Cameron versus David Davis, or even, you know, more recent ones, you can look at people who have slightly different views, but you can tell they're pretty much in the same space. Hamza Yusuf and Kate Forbes are not in the same space, they're not on the same planet. When it comes to the when it comes to their basic views on politics, as I've said before, Hamza Youssef is the the politician and the candidate of the urban left. Kate Forbes is neither urban nor is she left. And if it was any other country, which didn't conduct its politics along purely constitutional lines like we do, these two people would not be in the same political party. This is far more like a Jeremy Corbyn situation where you have somebody who is so different to the mainstream of the party that it could actually change a huge amount. And I thought that was, you know, we talk a lot about there's no choice in politics and everybody's the same. Well, boy, is there a choice in the SNP leadership right now? You know, these two candidates stand for very, very different things and they will take this party and this movement in very, very different directions. And I thought that was, as I say, one of the most interesting takeaways from last night was that. I think when you have such iron discipline for such a long period of time and then suddenly somebody opens the can of beans and they burst out all over the room, which is pretty much what happened last night, you become a normal political party and the beans don't go back in the can. So although, yes, the party will probably be brought back together in one form or other and, and you know they'll, they'll live happily ever after them, they might keep winning elections and so on, um, I don't think the concept of having open debates will change. I think you'll see this continuing now.